passed down to you by Guauhtemoc, prisoner of Tenochtitlan. The next omen we did not see, but heard. The voice of a weeping woman who cried in the night that she could not hide her children. Indecision plagued Emperor Montezuma. Was this man Quetzalcoatl, or was he just a man? As the Emperor brooded, the citizens grew restless. Cortes kept a close watch on the Emperor, and soon Montezuma became a prisoner in his own palace. Thus did the Spanish take Tenochtitlan without a siege. The Spanish collected all of the gold they could find. They were not interested in our art or ornaments, but merely melted down the gold for the return to Spain. They also outlawed any further sacrifice to the gods. When the priests protested, they were killed. The citizens and warriors of Tenochtitlan were enraged. We knew, even if our emperor did not, that these men were not gods. Riots broke out in the marketplace and at the palace. When Montezuma himself appeared on the walls urging the Aztecs to be at peace, the people threw stones at him. It was time to remove these so-called gods from Tenochtitlan. I must make my way back to Tenochtitlan and end the Spanish influence there. But how? Out of my way, pig! If you truly mean to free Tenochtitlan, then we will fight alongside you. Many Aztecs are held prisoner to the north. They will join us as well. There are transports on the beach ahead, but they are guarded. We will need several Aztec warriors to defeat them. What are you doing so close to the city? Stirring up trouble, no doubt. A clash gallant priest. I must be cautious. Happen if we open the Jaguar. Montezuma was tricked by the Spanish. Vengeance shall be ours. Montezuma was tricked by the Spanish. Vengeance shall be ours. 
We have reached the Tlaxcala outpost. We do not have time to destroy every building. Let us free the prisoners and escape. Vengeance shall be ours. We can gather our strengths across the lake, but to get there, we must steal a transport from Tenochtitlan. Thank <laughs> you. 
thought that Tenochtitlan was theirs, but they did not count on the strength and courage of Aztec warriors. Spanish called it La Noche Triste, which meant the night of sorrows in their language. At first, the Spanish barricaded themselves in our homes and palaces, but we continuously attacked their quarters. With stones, slings, and arrows, we drove the Spanish and Tlaxcalans through the streets of Tenochtitlan and across the three bridges and over the walls into Lake Texcoco. Thousands died. Those Spanish that were not killed by Macanas or javelins were drowned by the weight of the treasure they refused to leave behind. Tenochtitlan lay in ruin, but the city was ours again. Many brave Aztec warriors died that night as well, including noble Montezuma. The Spanish claimed that our own people had killed him with thrown stones. Thus, it was a night of sorrows for us as well. So says Cuauhtémoc. Defender of Tenochtitlan. 